Hi, welcome to the seventh episode of Learning Basics of Krita as a digital painting and illustration application. Using reference to draw your art is an important process which is kind of under taboo, but Krita embraces it with unique reference tool which we will cover in this episode. So why use reference? While starting out, it is hard to create a visual library from imagination. When you use reference to draw something, for example a hat, you can then create a visual library in your head. Then maybe you want to make an apple, you remember the shape, the colors, but there are so many details which you could miss if you would not look at a reference. For example, small bumps, color variation, etc. Of course, reference also give you real world example of how light interacts and with good practice, you can understand how shadow and highlight work according to real light sources. Thus, reference actually helped you in practicing and improving your art. Remember, many great artists do it and we are here to improve our art. Krita has a dedicated reference tool which can be activated with this icon. The advantage is that you don't have to use any other window or program to view your reference. Now to actually make it work, we need to add reference images. Let me just add one image. There are two methods to do it. Go to tool option, click on the plus sign and now you can browse for image which you have already downloaded in your system to use as reference. If you have an image in your clipboard, say you are browsing for reference and copy it, the same can be imported from clipboard also. Thus, you don't have to save the image first. Krita can support multiple images for reference. You can add as many as you can. Obviously, the file will be heavier. Okay, now that we have this floating image with borders and small cubes on all sides, this is not affecting any of the layers, which is the best part of using reference tool. This floats on top of all the drawings you have. However, unlike transform tool, this works a little bit differently. First, if you click anywhere inside the image and drag, you can move your reference image. Now, if you click on these small square boxes, then you can scale the image. However, this time it maintains the aspect ratio by default. We can change this parameter by checking keep aspect ratio and now scaling can be done in any way. On the four corners of this cube, if you hover your mouse or pencil, the icon changes, which simply means that you can now rotate the reference images. Hovering mouse or pencil on remaining cube, the icon changes again, this time for sharing and images can be changed this way. Since this reference is above all your paintings, it is very obstructive and we can simply reduce the opacity by moving this slider. Even the saturation can be reduced if you just want to study the values. Krita embeds image in its file system by default. So if you want, you can remove the download images if you have saved the Krita project files. But what if you want to use the reference again? Well, you can open any Krita KRA file where references are saved and export your reference as a separate KRF file. This file can be then imported to any other project and same reference images can be used multiple times. Now let's see what more can be done while we are in reference mode. All images can be moved or transformed independently. That much we have learned. But if you right click, you have a bunch of more options. When you move them closer, you see that they are kind of layered. So in order to change their order, you can either directly bring the reference to front. So this will be their topmost reference or simply send it back, making it the last most reference. Other reference can overlap it now. Or this can be done step by step by clicking on raise or lower the more you press the more it will come up or down for transformation we have already seen how it can be done manually but over here there are some shortcuts to rotate 90 degree or 180 degree you can reset the transforms and finally the best option for the artist in my opinion is using mirror which just mirrors the reference images horizontally or vertically now the tricky part you can copy the reference images or cut it and paste it but remember, copy pasting shortcuts from keyboard will not work and you will have to use the right click. Otherwise, the clipboard images may get pasted in a layer. We have now covered the basics of reference tool. Once you are in the brush mode, you can no longer change the reference images. Neither you can transform it. The only way to change them is to use the reference tool again. However, the best part is once you are in the brush mode, you can pick color from the reference images and use it as paint and use it to paint your drawing. Neat, huh? 
Another great part is if you are drawing something and using M key to quickly mirror your canvas for more accurate painting, the reference images also mirror themselves. Alright guys, this is it. With the power of reference tools in your hand, you can now start practicing drawing right inside Krita and with time you will have enough visual library to draw from the power of your mind. But even then using reference is godsend. Till we meet again, bye bye.